Not surprisingly, Google Drive has an excellent search tool, which is probably the easiest way to find your files once you've uploaded them to Drive. So it is a great idea to use specific keywords or common tags when you are titling your items. For example, I do a lot of work with teacher librarians and I use the tag TL when I name those items. If I then search for TL in the search box, Google will return all of the files with TL in the title or the body of the document. Using a consistent naming protocol for similar items is very helpful, but even if you only remember one word in your document's name, you will be able to find it. For instance, if I want to find the form I use to collect student prezzies for a Fast Food Nation project, I can search for fast food to locate it. To further refine my results, I can use the drop-down menu at the end of the search bar to narrow by file type, how the file opens, and ownership. If you don't like searching for documents this way, you may wish to also create folders to better organize your Drive dashboard. If I click on the triangle to expand my Drive's contents, you'll see numerous folders that I have created. If I click on the name of a folder, I will see all of the items that I have added to that folder. To create a folder at the very top level, first click on My Drive and then use the red New button and choose Folder. Or if I want to nest a folder within a folder, I can right click on a folder to select New Folder. To assign a color to my folder, I can again right click on the folder's name and choose Change Color. Once you have folders created, you can easily move your files into that folder through dragging and dropping. If I want to add several files to a folder at one time, I just need to hold down the control button and then click on all of the individual files I want to move. Once I have them all highlighted, I can release the control button and drag that batch to my folder. If you want to see if a file has already been added to a folder, simply click once on the name of the file and choose the I or information icon. Alternately, you can right click on the item and choose locate in my drive. And when you right click on an item, you also have that move option, which allows you to move the file to a new folder as an alternative to the drag and drop method. There may also be times when you want an item filed in more than one folder. One way to do this is to move the item to the first folder that you would like it to be in. Instead of using the drag and drop method, I'm going to right click on the file and choose move. After you've moved the file into one folder, find the file in that folder and click once on its name. Then hold down the shift key and strike the Z key. Notice that you are given an option to add to another folder instead of the typical move to option. Shift Z allows you to store your file in multiple folders without having to make multiple copies of the file. You still have just one copy of that file that you are able to find in multiple locations. In addition to helping you stay organized, folders can also help you share more efficiently. Just as with documents, I can assign sharing settings for an entire folder as well. I'll use this new CMAS Park folder and adjust the sharing settings for it by right-clicking on the folder and choosing Share. I will change the folder's permissions from private to anyone with the link can view, and I will use the Advanced option to do this. Here I can also add in my teammates as others who can not only view the item, but edit anything in this folder. Now if I add a document that is currently set as private to this folder, its sharing settings will change so that it is also viewable by anyone with the link in alignment with the folder sharing settings. In this way, you can use folders to quickly adjust sharing permissions for individual files. Just remember that when you add a file to a folder that has broader access or sharing permissions than that file, the file will assume those increased sharing settings. However, if you drag a shared file into a folder that you have set as private, the document's original sharing settings will not be altered or reduced. The folder sharing settings only change the individual document if they are more liberal than that of the document. 
Whether or not you use folders to streamline sharing, they are a great way to clean up your Drive dashboard and find files quickly.